Hi guys and welcome to the Smart Investor channel. On this video, we're going to compare two of the most popular cards out there, the American Express Platinum versus the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. We will compare their rewards program, benefits and drawbacks, redemption options, and other things you should know before applying. Let's start. The Platinum card from American Express is one of the best travel premium cards existing in the market, featuring high rewards for travelers, but includes a high annual fee of $695. See rates and fees. Amex Platinum cardholders earn five times points on up to $500,000 spent on directly booked airfare and flights and prepaid hotels booked through American Express Travel per calendar year, two times points on prepaid car rentals through American Express Travel, and one times points on all other purchases. Also, there is a welcome bonus of 100,000 points when you spend $6,000 in the first six months. Terms apply. However, the card may not be relevant if you're not a frequent flyer or traveler. In such a case, it would be more difficult to cover the annual fee and you couldn't take advantage of the various extra perks it offers. The Chase Sapphire Reserve Card is a travel rewards card issued by Chase Bank. This is a premium travel card that offers many benefits that your average reward card does not. You'll receive 50,000 points after spending $4,000 in the first three months of opening the card, which is about $750 in travel rewards if booked through Chase Ultimate Rewards. In addition, you earn five times total points on air travel and 10 times total points on hotels, car rentals, when you purchase through Chase Ultimate Rewards, immediately after earning your $300 annual travel credit. Also, earn three times points on dining at restaurants and travel after meeting the $300 travel credit, then one times points per dollar spent on all other purchases. On the other hand, the main drawback is the high annual fee, which is $550. We've looked at many aspects of the different cards, but how do they compare when it comes to your spending habits and what rewards you can earn? Since both of these cards are aimed at travelers, we'll assume that you travel every month to make our comparison. We'll also assume that you book any flights and hotels through the Amex or Chase credit card portal where available. As you can see, Although the points you would accumulate are similar for both cards, the lower Chase Sapphire Reserve Redemption rate means that you will earn less with this card compared to the Amex Platinum. Overall, there is no clear winner here, and the rewards you'll get is mainly dependent on your spending habits. Let's review the main perks these cards offer. Up to $200 hotel credit per year when you book select prepaid hotels using your Platinum card via American Express Travel. Enrollment required up to $240 or $20 per month in digital entertainment credit when you pay for one or more for the New York Times, Peacock, SiriusXM, or Audible products with your card. Enrollment required. Up to $155 in Walmart Plus credit. When you use your card to pay for your monthly Walmart Plus membership, you'll get the full cost back every month. Enrollment required. Up to $200 in Uber Cash. You'll get up to $15 credit each month via an exclusive Uber app experience with a $20 bonus in December. You can also become an Uber VIP to be matched with top-rated drivers without needing to meet any minimum ride requirements. Enrollment required. Up to $200 in airline fee credit per year when you charge your incidental travel fees from selected airlines on your card. Enrollment required. Up to $300 back every year for eligible Equinox memberships when you enroll and pay using your card. Up to $179 back per year when you use your card to pay for a clear membership. Enrollment required. When you travel more than 100 miles from home, the Global Assist Hotline is available 24-7 for emergency assistance and coordination services. Trip delay insurance and trip cancellation can help reimburse certain additional expenses purchased when a covered reason delays your trip for more than six hours. You can also get reimbursing for your non-refundable expenses. Cardholders can talk to Amex Platinum Travel Counselors, experts at creating personalized itineraries and making tailored recommendations to help make the most of your travels. You may be covered for damage to or theft of a rental vehicle in a covered territory. When you book hotels and resorts with American Express Travel, you're eligible for extra perks and a $100 experience credit to savor something unique at each property. Receive either a $100 statement credit for global entry or an up to $85 statement credit for TSA pre-check 
through any authorized enrollment provider. On the other hand, here's what the reserve card offers. $300 annual travel credit. You'll receive up to $300 statement credit for reimbursement on travel purchases charged to your card. Travel reimbursement for lost luggage up to $3,000 per passenger. And if your carrier travel is delayed for more than six hours, up to $500 per ticket. Pay yourself back offers, which allow you to redeem points for current offers with a higher redemption value. Access to Chase Unlimited Rewards, where your points are worth more in specific areas. For example, if you use your points for travel, 50,000 points are worth $750. Split purchases of $100 plus into fixed monthly payments via the My Chase Plan feature. Complimentary access to VIP Airport Lounge access. There are over 1,000 lounges across 500 plus cities around the world. The Chase Sapphire Reserve Card will reimburse your application fee for TSA PreCheck or Global Entry once every four years. This cost is usually around $85 to $100. 50% more Ultimate Chase Rewards Your points go further when you book through Ultimate Chase Rewards. These rewards include all things travel related, such as flights, hotels, cruises, and car rentals. Cardholders take advantage of exclusive benefits at a variety of hand-picked top hotels and resorts around the world, such as complimentary room upgrades, early check-in, and late check-out. There are no dates when the points cannot be redeemed. They can be redeemed at any time of the year. There is also no expiration or use limits. Travel Interruption Slash Cancellation Insurance If you book your trip with your card, you'll be reimbursed up to $10,000 per person and $20,000 per trip if your trip is cut short or canceled due to covered situations. Baggage Delay Insurance You'll receive up to $100 per day for five days for essential purchases if your baggage is delayed by your passenger carrier. You'll also get up to $500 per ticket if your common carrier travel is delayed for over 12 hours. Of course, no credit card is perfect, so it is important to be aware of the potential drawbacks before you make your final card decision. Higher Annual Fee American Express Platinum Card has higher annual fee. Cardholders pay $695 annually compared to $550 on Chase Sapphire Reserve. Balance Transfers Not Permitted American Express does not allow balance transfers to its Platinum Card. So, if you are looking for a card that will allow you to consolidate all your credit card balances, this is not the right card option for you. Authorized User's Fee The annual fee for the Chase Sapphire Reserve is $550 per year, which is high even for such great rewards and benefits. Furthermore, you'll need to pay an extra $75 for each additional authorized user. So, if you want to share the card, your annual fee could quickly skyrocket. Lastly, let's answer some of the most common questions of our readers. What are the top reasons not to get the Amex Platinum card? If you do not travel a lot or you do not spend a lot of money when traveling, if you're looking for a card that covers a wide range of purchases at premium cashback rates, is there a limit to rewards? There is a cap in place with the Amex Platinum card on getting the premium rate of cashback on certain types of purchases. Can I get car rental insurance with Amex Platinum? Yes, you will get it automatically once you decline the car insurance from the rental company and you pay the full rental charge using this card. Does card rewards points expire? The Amex points do not have an expiration date as long as your account is live, so no need to worry about it. Can I get pre-approved? Yes, you can get pre-approval for the Amex Platinum card. This is a very simple process and does not require a hard credit check. What is the initial credit limit? The minimum credit limit you will get with the Amex Platinum card will be $5,000. The exact limit that you get depends on the financial situation you are in. Should you move to Amex Platinum card? 
The Amex Platinum card is a good fit if you spend a lot of money on travel-related expenses and want to avail yourself of some great travel perks. If you do not travel a lot or you do not spend a lot of money when traveling, or if you are looking for a card that covers a wide range of purchases at premium cashback rates, it might not be the best card for your needs. Can I get car rental insurance with a Sapphire Reserve card? Yes, you can get car rental insurance with this card if you decline the collision cover of the rental company and pay for the entire cost of the rental car with this card. Please review the terms and conditions before to make sure you're covered. What are card income requirements? There are no transparent income requirements, but it is usually expected that your annual income is at least $60,000 and you may be asked for proof of income. Does Sapphire Reserve Card have a point rewards limit? There's no sort of limit in place how much cashback or rewards that you can earn when you are using this card over time. How do I redeem points? You can redeem your points in a variety of ways through the Chase Credit Card Reward Portal. Some of the perks you can get include cash, travel credit, statement credit, and gift cards. What are the top reasons not to get it? You do not travel a lot or you don't want to pay the large annual fee. Those people who travel a lot can earn some stunning rewards from these types of cards. How hard is it to get a Sapphire Reserve card? It is harder to get this card than some of the other Chase credit cards. However, if you have a credit score of at least 720, then you will be in with a good chance of getting approval. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. On our website, you will be able to compare the best cards, read additional reviews, and find guides that can help you choose your credit card wisely. What is your favorite card? We would love to know your thoughts, so feel free to share them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the best financial videos.